What's up y'all? Today I'm gonna teach you how to cut the corner on your wakeboard. Before you go slinging yourself through the corner at the cable park, make sure you ask the cable operator for permission before attempting to do this. If you do cut the corner incorrectly, it is possible to do quite a lot of damage to the cable and you really need to make sure you have a cable operator watching up at the pulley to make sure your rope doesn't hang on to anything and they can be right there and ready to hit the e-stop in case an emergency happens. Anyways, the tricks you're gonna wanna know how to do before attempting this trick are basically just being able to edge extremely well on your heels. Also something that would be quite helpful but it's not necessary is being capable of sort of a gliding in a butter slide position. This can be helpful because you can actually travel a lot longer distance like this than as if you were riding straight. It's not necessary but it is pretty helpful. Also, this trick will be much easier on a five tower or four tower cable system just because the corners are much sharper than say a six tower. Here at CWC, it's a six tower cable. It is still possible on a six tower. You just kind of need a little bit more momentum to make it all the way through the corner. Whenever I'm setting up to cut the corner, the tower before the tower I'm attempting to cut that corner, I'll actually kind of swing wide around it so I can have a really nice and wide approach before I start edging across the lake to really get as much momentum as possible. After I've set up for this wide approach, I'll sort of progressively roll onto edge. So sort of a progressive edge rolling into a nice hard edge across the cable. At this point, it's kind of all about timing. I'm on that really hard edge and I try and make sure the peak of my edge is almost just before my rope will click through the pulley. Pretty much at the peak of my edge, just before my rope goes through the pulley, I personally like to sort of back off my edge and sort of roll onto my toes just to sort of change the direction my momentum is traveling. Now that I've backed off my edge and rolled onto my toes, this is where you're going to want to pull on your handle to sort of yank yourself forward to help you generate as much momentum as you possibly can to make it all the way across the corner. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you do this yank those last few milliseconds before your rope goes through the pulley. Now that you've yanked on that handle to help generate that momentum, your rope is going to click through the pulley and you're actually gonna generate a ton of slack as you're sort of coasting across the lake. Something that I personally like to do that isn't necessary is actually hopping into sort of a butter slide position because from heel to toe on your wakeboard or at least most wakeboards, there's actually no rocker line. So whenever you are in that butter slide position, you'll actually glide a much longer distance as if you were actually straight because if you're straight, you'll have a rocker line which will slow you down. And whenever you're in board slide, the board acts more as like a skim board. It can actually glide almost forever. 
as you're gliding across the water with all of this slack, you're just gonna need to do a nice slight handle pass from your rear hand to your front hand, because if you don't, you'll actually end up getting sort of tangled in the rope. So it's necessary to make sure you do this quick little easy handle pass. It won't be tough just because there is so much slack and you'll be in a nice position for whenever the rope tightens back up. Now that you've done your handle pass and you're gliding across the lake, you need to be prepared because soon enough, that rope to the cable is gonna start tightening back up. So make sure you're just ready for that yank because sometimes it can be a pretty brutal yank at first. Once you sort of figured it out over time, you can kind of figure out the right angle to do it and it won't yank as hard. But yeah, just be prepared and ready to hold on with both hands so you can ride away. Also, if there's way too much slack in the line and it looks like you're not gonna be able to hold on, you should just drop the handle and then try again because if you try as hard as you can to hold on with all of that slack and you end up pinging the handle, you could shoot the handle up and over the cable and do some damage to it. So just dropping the handle would be a lot safer option. At this point, your rope should be tightening back up now. Just make sure you're holding on with both hands, absorb that tension and just ride away down the lake. Normally I do kind of a brief summary of the whole trick, but this time I'm just gonna kind of walk you through it with the GoPro on my head. So uh, yeah, check it out. I almost kind of like try and get pretty wide out here and then wait for like the last kind of second. And at the peak of my edge it needs to be just before the pulley then flatten off and pull. And I'm almost in a butter slide to maintain my speed. And then I catch back up with the rope and it gets tight and now I'm riding away. Also, you are gonna need to handle pass right here while you're coasting. So whenever the cable does catch back up, you aren't all wrapped up and tangled in the rope and you're actually in the correct direction so you can just cruise on down the center of the cable. That's how you cut the corner on your wakeboard. Make sure you ask your operator or an employee of the park before attempting this trick because I would hate to see you do damage to the cable you ride at. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below on what kind of tricks you guys wanna learn next or what kind of videos you guys wanna learn next. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever, so make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time, peace.